And we are back. Back again in Train Sim World 2. Uh, back again to look at another new DLC. And this time it's the highly anticipated Spirit of Steam. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for this one. Uh, I've not played it myself. I've not watched any content on it myself. I've been waiting for this stream, for this video, uh, to be able to do it for the first time. Uh, so yes, if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, hello. Uh, this going out on Random Sunday, a day of the week where I put my first looks at new things. Uh, other content is some OMSI on a Monday, uh, some Train Sim Classic on a Wednesday, uh, on a Friday, one of the other streams we do during the week, on a Saturday, some Train Sim World 2. This though going out on uh, Random Sunday. Actually, no, it might go on a Saturday. And I might be able to... It's going out on a day, because professionalism and all that. Uh, so yes, uh, there'll be some links in the doobly-doo below. Uh, one to where you can get the DLC for Train Sim World 2. Uh, one to the Twitch page where you can watch this madness live. And one to the Discord server. I've got to give a huge thanks to Dovetail uh, for their support of me and the channel and for allowing me to bring this to you. Uh, so big up to Dovetail. And good evening to uh, Trent, uh, Cactus and Pontoboy. So yes, I've not done this. I've not looked at it. I've not seen any gameplay on it. I've got no idea what to expect. I could have pre-recorded content and released it today as I'm streaming this. I haven't because I wanted to do this for the first time on a stream. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yes, hopefully it's done well. Hopefully they've done it good. Uh, we will see uh, right now then, I guess. We've clicked on a thing. The thing's happened. Something's happened. There's definitely something happening. Hopefully, hopefully something good is happening. Otherwise, we're just going to sit looking at this now. I anticipated it taking me to the menu so I could choose to do the training thing, but it would appear that... Oh, no. Hang on. No, something else is happening. Oh, there we go. I wanted to do the training thing, but we'll watch this instead. Oh, that's... Um... Welcome to Crewe, located in the northwest of England. Step back in time and discover the soot and sounds of the steam era. Climb aboard iconic living locomotives hungry for coal and water. And work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic Merseyside and Cheshire. That was quite a cool transition from black and white to colour. I like that. Oh, it's a steam train. <clears throat> Shouldn't really be a shock, should it? There's an empty poster over there. Let's fix that while we're here. Do I really have to fix? Okay. Really? Train sim rain I, oh god it's gonna make me do it isn't it i seriously dovetail i don't why just just do away with this rubbish there are more tasks to find be sure to refill sand buckets fill coal sacks place travel posters and light braziers no i'll do any of those things uh uh nico oh going down there Okay, so I've got no idea what to expect. No idea what's going to be happening. Follow the markers to board the train before departure. Uh, oh, I've got it on board here. Uh, oh, Take yeah. a seat in first class. Uh, okay. In, in, okay. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, and then return to the game when ready. Pause it. We're moving. She looks happy. Doesn't look very happy, does she? Anything from the trolley, it is? Okay, so this is smoothly putting away from a station. Oh. This train is powered by an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive. 
These were built between 1934 and 1936 and originally nicknamed Red Staniers because of their original crimson livery, but later earned the nickname Jubilee when one of their class was named Silver Jubilee in recognition of the Silver Jubilee of King George V. During your journey as a driver on this route, you'll learn to drive this locomotive as well as the LMS Stanier Class 8F, a freight locomotive. Oh, got really? You'll uh, a variety of different freight shut between up. the bustling yards and perform both express and local stopping passenger services. Uh, yeah, doing good, thank Learned you. all there is to know about operating these iconic locomotives in an era when steam was king. Does look good. Welcome to Train Sim World Spirit of Steam, Liverpool to Crew. Oh, okay, that was a, thi a thing then. Uh, right, we'll go back to the main menu because I want to do the training thing. So that was a little introduction. Um, let's do the training then because that should be a thing. We've done that. So, Stania Class 8F introduction. Then there's the signalling, refueling introduction. Oh, God, okay, so we've got some introductions to do. Okay, how hard, <coughs> excuse me, how hard can this be? Learning to drive a steamy train. It's easy. I just, it's it's going to be so simple. It's, it's going to take, like, seconds. We're in Runcorn. Welcome to Runcorn Station. In this training module, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Stania Class 8F steam locomotive in VR Black livery. And now we're two pints of lager and a packet of crisps was based. Train's going! It's leaving without me. Come back! No! I should be on that, shouldn't I? Or should be driving it, at least. What's going on? Or oh, is it stopping? Hang on, it might be stopping. No, it's definitely going. It seems to be getting faster. Shouldn't I be on that thing? Okay, this is going well. You've got a strange hat, haven't you? What a strange hat. Okay. It's not It's not the hat, Sim. Hi, Len. Oh, we're going over... Oh, I see. We're going over there, look. There's our train coming in. We just put us, put us on the wrong side of the platform. I guess we go. Yes, we are going up there. Okay, we'll go up here then. Excuse me, train driver coming through. A very important person. Excuse me, coming through. Stand on the platform and wait for your train to arrive. Hang on, I'm, I've got to do it. Today, you'll be taking over a freight service bound for Ditton. This class of locomotive was built between 1935 and 1946 and was designed as a freight version of the highly successful Black 5 locomotive. Oh, the Black 5. Climb up onto the footplate to begin. I'm, hang on, I want to take a screenshot. There we go. Now I'll climb up on the footplate. Okay. Uh, I can't. Oh, I can. Close the door, because that I could fall out. Sit in the driver's seat. Oh, God. I'll we'll get a seat. Oh! Let's prepare the locomotive for departure. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures you'll get the maximum power to get the train moving. As you pick up speed. This locomotive has two types of brakes. Steam and vacuum. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply on the rest of the train, so long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. Use the combination brake to apply both types of brakes simultaneously. Vacuum brakes are released when there is a vacuum in the system. To apply braking force, air is added back in by the driver using the combination brake. Create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we use the ejectors. The small ejector should be left open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. Okay. Open the cylinder cocks to remove any water from cylinders after it has been left standing. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive if it doesn't compress like steam. Uh, we're moving. 
The regulator acts like the throttle for the steam. We're locomotive. moving. It controls how much steam is delivered we're, to the cylinders. We're, we're, we're moving. Slowly open the regulator to we're, apply power. We, we are pitch Remember moving. Remember that power delivery is delayed in the steam locomotive. We're, we're, we're moving. Applying too much power too early. Oh yeah, I got a bit of wheel slip there. There's, there's some chuffing, we have chuffing. Set us in, the cocks are closed, okay. Now we're moving, we can open the regulator some more. Oh, it does look good. Set the regulator to seventy percent. We're starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the mid gear. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but saves energy. It's quite loud inside. Oh, it looks so cool. That does look really, really cool, doesn't it? Picking up speed. So is this viaduct actually here? That's quite a long one. Unless it used to be there, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to back off the regulator. Ponta boy. We're approaching the next stop. Let's prepare the train to stop. Thank you very much for that. Bring the train to a stop at the indicated position. Uh, it doesn't like slowing down. Yeah, brakes aren't really a thing, are they? Yeah, they have to brake really, really early. Maybe not that early, but really early. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm liking this already. We're going to be late every single time we do a trip, but... I can't tell. audio is so good. I, I will turn it down. There you go, a little tiny bit. Oh, 
Right, let's see if we can stop. Hey, that's not bad. Let's see how you did. Not very well. Okay, that's gonna be quite complicated. <laughs> okay, so that was the training on that one. I'm guessing the other one's gonna be similar. Um, explore training. Semaphore, standing a Jubilee class. We'll do the Jubilee class, then we'll look at the semaphore signaling because I'm gonna need a refresher on that. I know it's the, the pointy up one is go, the the straight, the horizontal one is stop, isn't it? I think. But you don't get a yellow, do you? So the amount of times I'm going to run reds on this is going to be ridiculous. Stania Jubilee class, 6p introduction. That's cheap, isn't it? 6p? Welcome to Allerton. In this introduction, we'll be learning how to drive an LMS Jubilee class steam locomotive in VR Green livery. This class of locomotive was built between 1934 and 1936 and nicknamed Jubilee after one of its class was named Silver Jubilee. To get started, climb onto the footplate. Didn't say that, it said enter the cab. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. In this lesson, we will be performing passenger operation. Oh, God. Uh, unlock doors. Okay. Yep. Doors are unlocked. It's not quiet. It's definitely not an electric train, is it? Oh. Lock doors. We're now ready to depart for West Allerton. The reverser determines the direction of travel and also how much power to apply. Move the reverser into the full forward position. This ensures you'll get the maximum power to get the train moving. Spinning the thing. Slowly open the regulator to apply power. Should I remember that power delivery is delayed in a steam locomotive? Should I? What about brakes? Should I release brakes? Oh, they are released. To create a vacuum for the vacuum brake, we use the ejectors. <laughs> Wait for the vacuum to build to 21. Well, it is. It's on 21.1. It does look good. It didn't say give it more power, but I'm going to give it more power. Swing's on fire. Oh, we're okay. Well, it says wait for the vacuum pressure to get to 21. It's above 21. Large ejector's open. There was a small ejector somewhere.
They seem to be pushing out steam from the front. Oh, well, that was on the train. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hear too too on there. Well, keep your cool, I suppose. I don't know what it's waiting for now. It's already exceeded what it wanted me to exceed. Bottom left of where I'm standing. Bottom left of where I'm standing. That's the cylinder cocks. I've got to close those. They told me that before, I ignored that. There was enough line for this to do what it wants me to do. That's definitely Yeah, it's a vacuum. I'm going uphill. Oh, that's true. But I shouldn't stop it building uh, brake pressure or vacuum pressure. Does look good though, doesn't it? Oh, well, we got a forty coming up. I don't know if it we're meant to stop anywhere because it's still waiting to uh, wait for the brake vacuum. If I close it again, so it's now dropping. If I open it again, I need to then pick up again. The steamy thing is confusing and quite loud. But it's quite cool. And smoky. Oh, a lot of smoke builds up under the bridge as well. I don't think this vacuum pressure is actually going to... Oh, that got very laggy. Uh, I don't think this vacuum pressure is actually going to uh, increase. Just stuck on 20.9. And the injector's fully open. Uh, right, we've got double yellows going to that but the, up there it still says green yeah this vacuum pressure isn't going up so I think this tutorial is going to fail I've got to get my speed down because we're approaching a 40 Yeah, is the brake handle fully released? Yeah, brakes released. Or well, combination brakes released. Steam brakes released. Reverses on. But the vacuum pressure just isn't going up. This is where I think now we're just going to run out of track at some point. 
Yeah. I'm guessing we were supposed to stop at some of these stations, maybe. Oh my god, that was... Well, it didn't warn me of that, did it? Apparently there's a 20 through there. So this is now a 20 that it didn't... Oh, now it's saying there's a 20. Okay, so I need oh, to... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Pompey Blue Army, thanks very much for the follow. Right, let's apply some brakes. Because we've got to go down to a 20. Hopefully, then if I come off the brakes and on the brakes, it might uh, go back up again. Brakes released. Set the large ejector to closed. Set the regulator to open 40. We're starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser towards the mid gear. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinder, but saves energy. Stop at West Allerton. So it was just waiting for it to build pressure. Hang on, we still got this. We still got this twenty coming up though. Behind me, uh, it's over there. I don't think we've gone 2.7. Oh, hello, we seem to have stopped. Uh, I don't think we've gone 2.7 miles past. We might have done. You reckon it took so long to build the brake pressure that we've actually gone past where we need to go? Uh, okay, we'll call that done then. That's fine. <laughs> we'll, call, we'll call that done. No, no, it's fine. We'll, we'll call it done. It's fine. I just, it's a train. I did brake pressure. Play with your cock. That, that's it. That's what you got to do. Uh, so, that's the two trains. Semaphore signaling. We'll just wing it. Refueling introduction. Oh, we got to do that, haven't we? What can possibly go wrong with this? So yeah, it took so long to build brake pressure, I went past where I should have been stopping. Welcome to Speak Sidings. In this training module, we will learn how to refill the tender with water before coupling up to a set of freight wagons. Oh. Firstly, we'll need to prepare the locomotive to receive water. Walk over to the water train where you will need to move the water hose over the rear of the locomotive's tender. Uh, I can't get down. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Now the hose is in position. Climb up the tender and open the water hatch. Insert the hose into the tender tank once the water hatch is open. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I leapt up there. I'm quite strong. The hose is in and the tender tank is ready to be filled. Turn on the water and start filling the tender tank. Uh, I gotta get. Uh, I. Um. Okay, I'll do. I'll get that done there then. Wait for the tank to fill with water. How do I. Is there a. There's a, I know there's a gauge in the thing, but have we not got... Oh, we've lit a brazier. The tender tank is now full. 
turn off the water and bring the hose back to the water frame before closing the water. Oh, we've done a... Okay. Uh, I can't climb the up the... Pla oh, there we go. Close the thing. Right down from the thing. Okay. Sit in the driver's seat. It's a good place to be. Uh, there we go. In the CT of the driver. Do that. Thing, thing. Now we need to fill the tender with coal. Oh god, this is going to go well, isn't it? Uh, okay, backwards, seventy-five percent. I've done that. Oh, okay. Close enough. Low coal. Uh, okay, have I got, I'm guessing I'll go out and do that, am I? Because you know, there's been nobody else around. Uh, what am I going to do that then? Up there? Oh, load of coal. Or do I get back up on top of the fender again? I'm guessing so. You can tell me that bit, it just says low coal. Nope. How am I? Or do I get it from inside the... Hang on. Okay, it's not there. I think it's automatic. Oh, it's got the... Ah, hang on. So it might be because I weren't in the... Okay. Oh, it didn't explain that, did it? Six, seven, there we go. The locomotive is ready to go, but the points in front need switching. These points are manually controlled, so we'll have to leave the locomotive and walk to the points. Okay, let's do the... Uh, I can't get down. Yeah, I know the whole moving under them slowly thing. I just didn't know... I've never done this before, in this... Not with coal. I know we've done freight before, but it, it tells you in the freight ones, doesn't it, to go at like two miles an hour, set the speedy thing. It didn't tell me. I didn't know what to do. Pull the junction lever to switch the direction of the points. I will do that. Done. The locomotive is now ready to move. Climb aboard the locomotive and drive it to the stop marker. I want a coal, full of coal. Uh, so yeah, because this is released today, I've done this uh, stream uh, a day earlier than normal. Uh, we'll be back with some more uh, Train Sim Classic uh, tomorrow night. Okay. Set the reverse there too. Forward 75%. No, that's backwards. No, that's still backwards. Forwards. 
and then some additional streams at the weekend. So train sim tomorrow night. Uh, Thursday lunchtime, uh, going to be doing some firm bus. Thursday night is some farming. Uh, Friday lunchtime, uh, some flight. Going to be taking the BAE uh, 146 out for a spin. That can go well. Couldn't even start the thing. Uh, Friday night is some uh, Forza. Uh, Saturday lunchtime, some Train Sim World 2. Uh, Saturday night to be decided. Sunday afternoon, some truck and logistics. So loads of stuff coming up over the Jubilee weekend. So we've got to stop down there in 500 yards. Yeah, I'm going to check all that. Uh, there's an update to the plane as well. So I'm going to check all that on uh, on Friday morning for the stream. It's Ivor the engine. It is modelled really, really well. I like the fact that it's uh, the audio's sort of really good as well. Okay, so we've got to stop down here. needs painting it does so we'll do this and then we'll attempt to uh, one of the scenarios one of the passenger runs or something James, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to Insanity. Oh, oh, I like that. That was a lot of sparks. <laughs> when I, I just gunned it. Uh, much wheel slip. Um, I was going to do some Train Sim Classic uh, Steam. Um, I probably won't, to be honest. Into the siding have been set for us. Slowly reverse into the sidings and stop in front of the wagons. Uh, okay, reverse it. Back was 75%. Off with the brakey, open with the valvey. So we've got to stop back there. Is my cock open? Hang on. Close my cock. That's a lot of tracks in it. Yes, yeah, so we had a, a attempt one of the passenger runs after this. a long way back there. Why do you have to put them so far away? Looks a bit odd. Oh no, you can see them. So you couldn't see the sleepers in between the things it's because texturing's the ground level's a bit high
Okay, make our way back to these wagons. Slowly. You scumbag. The couple to the wagons climbed down from the locomotive and walked to the rear of the tender. Uh, I'm a bit far away. Oh, there we go. Just pulled it all forward. That chain is not reaching. The wagons are now coupled, and the service is ready to start. Really? That chain Climb doesn't. Back aboard the locomotive and drive to the yard exit to finish this training. Didn't mode. really look that connected, but okay. Is this my? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I definitely prefer it in the outside view because you can't see much on the inside view. Okay, forwards to the seventy fives. Release the brakey. Oh, wheel slip. Yeah, shift two doesn't do anything. Do that. My initial impressions are it's very good. Uh, the modeling's good. The audio is fantastic. I'm looking forward to doing a uh, a passenger run. It's not my thing. Uh, I'm not a fan of steam. Full stop. Um, but I'm going to, you know, do, do a passenger run and we'll see what happens. But it's, yeah, it's, it's very, very, very well done. Very well done. It'd be nice in the future if they brought some iconic, uh, steam trains. Yeah, I think on um, yeah, putting it on other routes would be quite interesting. So I was going to spend this stream uh, tomorrow and Saturday doing Steam. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. But it is very good. There's a fire over there. Fire! I love the audio. Okay, let's do the stoppy thing. Maybe. Okay. Great work. That's everything for this training module. Okay, right, let's take it on a full line run then. Let's see what we can do. Well, let's look at scenarios actually. Uh, explore scenarios, what have we got? Uh, four legged friends come to, you know, don't want to do that. The tables have turned. Turn the Jubilee load worker around at crew nor sheds. No, that's shunting. Stranded train, collect carriages, winter. 
Rough weather along the line means trains are having to run carefully to manage their loads and in the conditions. Oh God, that can only do well. Uh, that's something to work up to. Moving around the Mersey. Okay. Well, in that case, we want to do a timetable one then, don't we? Right, we don't want it to be in December. I'll go July. Um, is there any... Oh, hang on, because we're in the... That's the passenger one, isn't it? Okay. So is that going to be passenger? Yeah, there we go. Um, Chester, Liverpool, Lime Street to London, Euston. Liverpool, Lime Street to Crewe. So that's going to be the full length of the line, isn't it? Lime Street to Crewe. That's, that's the only. That's where it runs from, isn't it? So we'll do that. What can possibly go wrong? Uh, hi, Peanut. Uncouple to... Okay. Well, I thought I was going to drive a train, but okay. Uh... Is there a commandy thing for this route? Well, there's the route command. If that's what you mean. Okay, we've got to uncouple a couple of the train things. Yeah, so it does go Liverpool Lime Street to Crew. So we're going to do the whole, uh, the whole line run now. Once we come down here, so which end are we here? Which is this? This is Liverpool, then, isn't it? It does look really nice. Thirty-five miles. Thirty-six miles. It was close. Oh, okay, we've got to uncouple because there's a train at the other end. Is it? Or is that a different train? Ah, so that train pulled it in. We're obviously putting it back out again. Okay. Hang on, I want to climb up here first. I can't. Okay, no, tell you what, we'll run back down the track then. Not dangerous at all. Is there, the pla is, there, is there a platform on the other side that I could have just walked down then rather than running down here? I've, I got out the wrong side of the train. Ah. What's the word? Um, no, I don't want to give up control. There. Uh, right, okay. So, tab, unlock right. Incos closed, ejectors closed. So, reverser into forwards. Yeah, I could have got out that side, couldn't I? And gone down. Oops. So we're stopping at uh, Edge Hill, Runcorn, Hartford, Crew. This may take a while. It does. It looks like it's set in the right times, doesn't it? They did a really good job with the scenery. I want to get out of Runcorn. I said at the beginning, is that where two pints of lager and a packet of crisps was filled was um, set? Uh, lot right. Okay, stop at Edge Hill in 1.3 miles.
Uh, okay. Brakes definitely released. brakes on that's why come on okay this steam brake won't release Yeah, you keep working. I can't. Yeah. Right now, can we get some movement? There we go. Maybe. We're off. With a lot of wheel spin. I mean, okay, it's definitely difficult to get going. So you've got to be really patient. We're on a slight uphill grade as well. That probably didn't help. Yeah, it is. These things are incredibly powerful, aren't they? So it's just getting the traction down. It does sound really nice. That's a reason to buy it, if nothing else. Look at that. Don't care, we're going slowly. Southern Bell, no, I don't think so. Thank you, Crispy. I 
could just listen to that audio. Sounds so good. Right, so we've got to stop in less than a mile. So is this, I've never been out of uh, Liverpool Station, is this uh, actually like this? Is the tracks in a really big shaft? Oh, it's so good. Right, so we are doing a full line run, or we're going to attempt to do a full line run. Yeah, I've been to the report, didn't go by train. It's quite laggy, so I think it needs a bit of optimization. So yeah, more train sim tomorrow night. Uh, with some train sim classic. So I could have pre-recorded some content on this and put it out to release today. But I wanted my first impression to be on the stream live. Uh, I didn't want to uh, pre-record anything. So I waited. I was very patient. There will be more trains in World 2 on Saturday. That's quite smoky. All right, so we've got to stop here. I have to just tr trundle along because it just sounds so good. But yeah, graphically, they've done a brilliant job. Uh, Audio-wise as well, it just sounds so, so good. Right, let's stop here at Edge Hill. There we go. Open the doors. It does just, it looks so, so good. It would be nice to see a few more trains running around. I'm guessing we'll pass some others. Yeah, you did a good job there. Keep it up. You can make me a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea when you're done. Yeah, it just said Liverpool. So you have got that view. Which is quite good. Uh, it's a she. think uh, right Runcorn 
Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here without too much of the wheel slippy thing then. Hang on. Oh wow, it really doesn't like. Come on. You've got to be so careful with the throttle. I'll give it some beans. There we go. I know, Crispy. Right, 40 limit currently. We got a 70 limit coming up. Okay, that was a track change. Uh, okay, that was oh, cool, all right. Yeah, I, I won't be on time. That's a dead cert. Yeah, there's a lamp there. Okay, we're doing the uh, slowing down thing. Right, probably up a little bit of speed. That's 30. Vacuum pressure and brake pressure. They're new for this. Which I 
We should bring a reversal back down, shouldn't we? Yeah, I did the whole anything from the trolley gears earlier. That's some lag. Yeah, the two in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. I think a downhill grade is helping with the uh, speed. He didn't pick anything up. Uh, he still didn't pick anything up. Uh, you, you're not putting anything in there. You, you just, you, you're just moving nothing from there to there. It's not really going to help, is it? I'm already getting concerned about the whole stopping in seven miles thing. item it's probably me it does sound so good Yeah, if you are new to the streams, plenty of stuff coming up over the Jubilee weekend. Uh, Gav Jam, thanks very much. Five months. Uh, that's awesome of you. Thank you, Gav Jam. Uh, yeah, back tomorrow night with some Train Sim Classic. Some more Train Sim. Uh, Thursday lunchtime, some firm bus. Thursday night is uh, some uh, farming. Uh, Friday lunchtime, uh, some flight taking the BAE 146 for a flight out of Innsbruck. Friday night, some Forza Horizon 5 in multiplayer. Saturday lunchtime, some more Train Sim. Uh, some more Train Sim World 2, in fact. Maybe something diseasily. Uh, Saturday night, uh, yet to be decided. Sunday lunchtime, some Truck and Logistics Sim. That's had a major update. And uh, that's uh, yeah, so loads of stuff coming up. Uh, I did see the Mark III coach pack. I probably won't get it. Right, 5.8 miles to uh, Runcorn. Be careful now of not doing the speeding thing. Yeah, you just keep shoveling nothing. You're doing a good job there. I know I can do 70, it doesn't mean you have to do 70. I don't want to risk speeding. It's fine. It's all grand, isn't it? We're here to enjoy the, the journey. It's not about the speed. I don't care about being on time. Find a bridge.
Hi, McBone. Yeah, I, I've got to say, say an hour and a bit in, the the modelling. Oh, there's a shot. Uh, is so so good. And the audio is really, really good. Right, four miles to Runcorn. Hi, Michael. It is done very, very well. Yeah, it's quite the early you go under a bridge and the steam hits it. Like the smoke coming out of the factories and stuff has done very well. Right, we've got a uh, 55 limit in 1.3 three miles, so we'll start. Bringing down the uh, speed a bit. Even that little bit, a small bit of smoke coming out the uh, front is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go with that. Right, two miles to go. So we have slowed down a bit early, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's that look where it uh, goes under the bridge. That's quite cool. It is quite laggy, so I do think they need a bit of optimization. But I'm sure there'll be updates. Is Dylan the fireman? Unless Dylan's got breasts. It is a full release, yeah. It uh, released today. I've got, yeah, I've got to say, it's done very, very well. If you want something different to do in Train Sim, it's, uh, it definitely needs to be up there. It's done extremely well. Yes, root as in route, not root as in Groot. Into Runcorn we go. Uh, no, I'm going to cold. I feel uh, perfectly fine. So it's a shame we don't see many, much other traffic. I've seen the odd other train. But would have thought we would have passed some other stiff, other stiff, other stuff by now. But again, 
is only early in its release phase. That sounds really nice though, doesn't it? Can we have two pints of lager and a packet of crisps, please? <laughs> yeah, I said that at the beginning. That was a great show. Right, can we stop it on time? It took a while to uh, get it up to speed. released on uh, yeah, Jubilee Day rather than a Tuesday end of the month I suppose a great approach to run corn we come. Right, now I've got to try and stop the thing. Should be fine, so we're not going that fast. He says famous last words. <laughs> Warm orange squash. Or even bits of... Okay, you get steam out the whistle. Oh, that's... Steam effects are brilliant. Well, the fireman does move the shovel about, but the shovel's got no coal on it. Hey, that's not a bad bit of stopping. That's not bad. Yeah, see, I. It's like, you're not picking anything up there. Oh, no, you're going to put it back again. Yeah, you put it back there and in, in the. Okay, next to the unit. And you can sit down, you know. Uh, PC, this is. Yeah, someone pointed out the light there. Yeah, you're not putting anything in. There's, there's, there's nothing going in there. So this is run corn. Uh, and we got Hartford and crew to go. But yeah, I am really impressed with the quality. It's so good. Okay, Hartford platform one. So this is the bit now that's really tricky is the uh, getting it moving. Come on. There we go. It's 
slowly, slowly. That noise, that is so nice. Uh, I don't know what the train it actually is, well, I can't remember. Oh yeah, Jubilee, Silver Jubilee. Does sound really, really good. I see a slight incline. It's going good. Yeah, I've only been on one steam train. I don't know who it was. It was down on the um, uh, Paynton Railway. Uh, yeah, you can put these on other other ones. So you could do a London to Brighton if you really wanted to. We do appear to be getting slower, which is slightly concerning. Michael, thank you very much for those. I guess if I bring the, the reverser back, That's going to help matters. Maybe just because of the weight of the train and the fact we come straight up into an incline. This is just what it is, 16 miles an hour. We're in no hurry, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it showed you how to do that. I don't think on this four line run you have to. But it does show you how you have to refill with water and coal. gained one miles an hour.
<laughs> it's definitely not the fastest train. Oh no, yes, you get working. Yeah, just put no coal in there. That, that's fine. Put put no more coal in there. Yep, that, that's that's all good. And and just to be safe, put no more coal in there. And then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was concerned that the inside view uh, wouldn't be great. It actually is fine. Uh, I love the fact that you've got the light from the firebox. I think doing a night run in this would actually be really cool. You wouldn't be able to see Sodor, obviously you've got the lamp here, but I think just to be lit up by uh, the fire would be really cool. And the fact you can see the glow from here as well. Alright, picking up a little bit of speed now. Well, extra miles an hour. The fact that the steam under the bridge, look. So it's actually got a collision with the bridge. Right, 8.5 miles to Hartford. It was just that incline. I think whether I didn't set it up correctly, so I probably hindered the uh, speed of it. And don't forget, if you are into trains and you're new to the stream, uh, welcome indeed. Uh, more trains back tomorrow, which is Train Sim Classic. Uh, and then more Train Sim World 2 back on Saturday. So uh, Train Sim twice a week. Done this as an extra tonight because it's released today. Uh, no, we'll be doing Steam tomorrow night. I think after this, I need a, a, a diesel fix tomorrow. It's 36 miles. Right, there we go. Now we can get a bit of speed. Right, let's hope now we keep greens all the way. If we suddenly get a yellow. Oh, it looks, just looks so cool, doesn't it? In fact, even the stuff on the front of the trailer is rocking around. It's not stable. They have done a fantastic job with this. If you've got Train Team World 2, buy it. Just buy it. Just just go and just buy it. Just just go and do it. The fact you can use this on other routes as well. So you can stick a steam train on any other lines you've got. Uh, I don't know the price actually, but whatever it is, just go buy it. Alright, if you can't, then don't. view of the entire train. I 
Yeah, what's that? I just love the audio. So good. Okay, that sentence sort of made sense. Yeah, I'm still a huge fan of Train Sim Classic, but I am becoming a very big fan of Train Sim World 2. I think it's the graphics and the audio that wins me over. I like a longer route in Train Sim Classic. How can you complain about this audio? I know I'm speeding slightly. Oh, it said an 80 up there. Now it's saying a 55. Come on, dovetail, sort the speed limits out. I was looking forward to doing an 80. That's a bridge. It is impressive. It is very impressive. Uh oh, got a red. In 1.2 miles, which means you got to then start moving again. Start to slow it down and hope that red changes. Yeah, I know, Crispy. There are a lot of screenshot moments. Yeah, it's asking me yellow. Hundred yards to the red. Got a train up there on the track in front of me. Unless I'm switching track. I've got to wait for them to go, but it wouldn't bring us this close together, surely. I 
Yeah, I don't think it's going to change. I don't want to get done for running a red. Oh, you scumbag. Just as I... <sighs> Fine. Come on. Come on. Don't will sip. Come on. There we go. 8% throttle. so good, doesn't it? Oh god, yes. No, someone said one of the scenarios, uh, one of the, yeah, scenarios is wet and you literally, you cannot move. Even an old Route Master bus in green. Green indeed. Right, we're only 2.6 miles from Hartford. detailing and the audio is just completely top-notch. Come on, shovel faster! Or, or don't shovel faster. Yeah, I think if you're still on the platform and a steam train did that, a few people have dropped dead. Yeah, I hope they bring out other engines. And even more scenarios for existing routes, but set in the same era. I know it's not an easy thing to do, but... Right, 1.6 miles to go to Hartford. And after that, it's crew. So 
So a slight incline, a whole 38 miles an hour. Yeah, it's very well done. Oh yeah, some of the bigger stuff would be awesome. Uh, I'd like some of the smaller stuff as well. That's one of my reasons wanting to go to the Rowing Museum. We've got a couple of steam trains here in, the, uh, in our designer outlet because it's the old railway works. Yeah, I think stuff like that will come. I think some of the real iconic steam trains. And even some of the American stuff. Can you imagine an old, really old American steam train on one of the American routes? I think that would be really cool. Right, so 800 yards. So, uh, Hartford. Very long platform at Hartford. I can see smoke. Is that another train? Oh, yellow coming up. It's definitely not a very long platform, Hartford. Unlocking doors. Oh, we've got a slight downhill grade as well. So at least putting off from this one should be simpler. I just want to go and... I just want to do something while we're... Uh, So is there anything other than first class or the all first class? Have we got cattle class? Toilet. Oh, that's a shame. Can't all be first class carriages, surely. Oh no, we have, look. Actually, that's quite nice. Some nice tables. I quite happily sit in there. A bit more open, isn't it? It's nice having your own little compartment, but... I know we should be leaving. For a look on the train. it was this long blimey that's a long walk oh look where are we here then what the hell's going on here why was that okay was this the end oh 
brake van and uh, freight carriage and the end that's quite cool oh, I like that yeah I like that that's good I'm impressed with that yeah I think that's a toilet which you can't get in okay yeah I like why well, you actually see the length of it from here look it's quite I didn't realize my train was that long right we'll move on to uh, our final stop then which is going to be crew well we'll probably end this actually it'll take me that long to get back down there Definitely a long walk. We're getting closer because I can hear the engine. Is it this one? Is this the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can get back on board now. Sorry about that. I just went out look on the train. Okay, lock doors. Okay, crew, twelve mi twelve miles. Okay, release the brakey. Come on. Come on. You can do it. 6% throttle. Because you've got a slight downhill grade. I don't think... If anyone on a steam train nowadays, you wouldn't care if it was on time, would you? I can definitely recommend this. If you want something different to do in Train Sim World 2, it is so, so well done. I love the smoke effect under the bridge, look. They need more clag. We need to be able to, like with some of the blue era diesels, we need to just turn up all the clag. Right, 11 miles. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect. Say, up until starting the stream this evening, I'd not seen any gameplay on it. I had watched anything. You know, I could have pre-recorded some content. So I've had it for five days, six days or is. Um, but I haven't. Because um, I wanted to have my first experience of it on the stream. And I'm not disappointed. Being honest, it's not something I don't think I would do much of. So I'm not a fan of Steam. 
Uh, it is very well done. Uh, which is why originally I had two two nights penciled in for this tonight and tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to do two nights. I will come back to it if they release more trains, etc. We'll come back and do some more steam. But if you want something different uh, to do in Train Sim World 2, yeah, definitely the case. Right, 10 miles to go. Yeah, I hope they do bring more routes to this, more trains to this. I'd even like to see uh, Rocket uh, and stuff like that. Some really old stuff. I think that would be quite cool. Wasn't it, was it Manchester? The um, was it the Rainhill Trials? Wasn't it um, that Manchester to Liverpool was the first passenger railway service? Yeah. Yeah, I just think being able to recreate that first passenger service with a really old train. There was a um, a reproduction of Rocket in the uh, in the old Roman Museum here in Swindon. So tomorrow night we get back into something diseasily. And then uh, do something else on uh, on Saturday back in Train Sim World 2. That's it, you get shoveling. Thin air. Then you just stand there. It's so good. I don't even care that we're going slowly. It doesn't feel like you're going slowly. I think if you're in an electric train or a diesel at these speeds, it wouldn't feel fast. This actually feels fast. Well, yeah. That's all the view you get from a steam train, is that. So they did lean their head out the window. Because that's it. That's all you got. Like how simple. Definitely a lack of other traffic. You know, we saw that one freight train um, 
when we exit the last station. So there's definitely a lack of other traffic. In fact, this is a 90 mile an hour limit. We're doing 47 because we're going slightly uphill. It's down to the scenario crea creator to have a great these timetable routes. Each one's classed as a scenario. Uh, they put the traffic in. So they just have a, well, a couple. I confused. It would have been nice if there had been more. Because, you know, I think there would have been a lot of trains going up and down this line. So 5.7 miles to go. We will end when we get to crew. So we've done a full line run. We've done the tutorials on the two trains. We looked at the refueling. And yeah, I'm impressed. Hit 51 miles an hour. They were quite tall signals. You quick your neck looking up at those. No, not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. So I was a yellow for me then, I was going to start panicking. I wasn't staring at it. I was trying to look out the window. They are really tall signals, aren't they? That's ridiculously tall. Look. Why are they that tall? Were they that tall? Right, so look at the smoke effect going under this tunnel. Bridge thing. That does look good, doesn't it? Actually, has a collision with the bridge. That is very well done. Oh, you got yellow in 1.9 miles.
and a 20 as we come into crew. Bring the uh, speed down a little bit. Yeah, so double yellow. You just keep shoveling nothing into the into the firebox. That's it. That's fine. You're doing a great job there. Yeah. Hopefully, work on optimization a bit more. It's definitely a few laggy areas. And that is said, it's uh, known, and they always sort it out. Creep our way down towards the 20. So yes, crew, one of the most disappointing 45 minutes of my life was visiting the Crew Heritage Centre. Went there for a day, 45 minutes, was back in the car. And travelled all the way from here to there. Won't be making that mistake again. Oh, that's some serious lag. Blimey. Is everyone locked down? No, the Crew Heritage Centre is still there. That's where the APT is. we come into the aforementioned crew. Right, so we got a yellow. And we got a red. So we were due... It's supposed to be, what, a 55-minute scenario. So we were due at crew at 8.21. We arrived at 8.50. So 40 minutes late on what should have been a 55-minute run. How does that work? I'm just too good at this. I 
30 minutes late. I don't know why I said 40. 30. It was close. Still 30 minutes late than my 55 minute scenario. My speed like this don't help though, do they? Good morning. Yeah, you know you're going slowly when you won't even make it to the stopping place. Yeah, I've got used to the controls. Wouldn't matter if I turn up half an hour late. No one would have noticed. Oh no, I've been later than that on some of the long runs we've done. There we go. Thanks for your help. This is 1958, you get fired, that's true. It, they've done a really, really good job with the with the detailing I've got to give them that and the audio I it's just stunning it really really is Yeah, it is the fact. Yeah, that's, that's hitting the roof. So it's it's got collision model. Yeah, that is really really well done. Thirty-five point five five miles. One hour, 23 minutes. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so there we go. Uh, my first look at uh, the spirit of steam. Uh, and uh, very, very impressed. Very impressed. Um, didn't do all the training. Obviously, you've got the Stania Class 8F that comes with it. Uh, the Jubilee Class 6P. Uh, we didn't do the Semaphore signaling. Um, but yeah really really good scenarios uh you got a few to do one 60 minute one which is the one in snow uh and a few others and uh, timetable routes for both uh freight and passenger uh obviously the one we just did um was uh, a 60 minute one which was a full length run i don't know if there's another one there actually is there um doesn't seem as though there is there's not that many then the the full line full line run london use of Liverpool line street cruise Liverpool line street always oh, one going the other way look 50 minutes um so yeah definitely uh definitely impressed with it definitely impressed uh it is uh really really good um why do i always look like at night okay before we finish i'm just gonna 
Uh, I'm just going to jump in one when it's dark just to see how it looks before we end because I'm intrigued uh, to see how well that's lit up at night. Okay, you're not you're not going to see much with those lights, are you? We know we've got the light back here. That's quite cool. Yeah, we just see what how it looks when it uh, if we can pull out of the station. Wait until five past, or maybe we won't then. Oh, actually, it should still let us go, shouldn't it? Maybe not. Trent, thank you very much for those. That shit's really sinister, isn't it? And the rocking, blimey. That looks quite cool. See the oh, there's some lag. That's a lot of lag. Uh, it's gone dark. You've shut the you've shut the firebox. Oh, there we go. That's fine. You're opening again. You've, you've seen you closed it again. Are oh, you opening it again? You're okay. Are oh, you closed? You've opened it. You're closed. You're, clo you're, clo you're opening and cl you're opening and closing it again. There we go. That'll do. Uh, go back to the main menu. He doesn't know what to do. He's like, open it, close it, open it, close it. Uh, there we go. Uh, we will end. Um, yeah, really, really uh, Im impressed with that. Let's get some audio back. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, really impressed. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Uh, what I want to do next, actually, and do some of the scenarios on, is that one. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing on Saturday. Uh, some more trips on the Harlem line. Uh, been meaning to go back to Harlem uh, for a while. Really impressed with it. We'll do a couple of scenarios, redo the training uh, on the Harlem line. So that's coming up on Saturday lunchtime. Uh, tomorrow night, more trains. Back for Train Sim Classic. Uh, don't know what route I'm going to do yet. Um, but uh, more trains tomorrow. Uh, because it's Jubilee weekend, a uh, couple of extra streams. Thursday lunchtime, uh, I've got some 
uh, firm bus. Haven't done that for a while on a stream. Uh, Thursday night, then some farming. Uh, Friday lunchtime, uh, some flights. Taking the BAE 146 uh, for a flight from Innsbruck to somewhere. That can only go well because I couldn't even turn the autopilot on last time. Uh, then Saturday lunchtime, we got some Harlem lines. Saturday night, um, oh sorry, Friday night, we got some Forza Horizon 5. Saturday night to be decided. Uh, Sunday afternoon, uh, some truck and logistics. So loads of stuff coming up over the next few days. So thanks to you lot in chat then for keeping me company for the last two and a quarter hours. Really did enjoy that. And uh, thanks to these people as well. So thanks to uh, Ponterboy, Trent and Michael for the bits. To Crispy, Dylan and Nightbot for doing uh, no moderation. To James and Pompey uh blue for following and gav jam for subscribing uh, thank you very very much indeed i will be back uh, tomorrow night same time same place different game same trains but not you know what i mean if you have been thanks very very much for watching